And as we kick off the weekend, we have more storms and a severe thunderstorm warning for Indian River County until 615 tonight. Although tracking this storm, the, the real the real core of it has pushed in more into Brevard County, which also is included in this polygon. This is the warned area here as the storm moves quickly toward the coastline at about 25 miles an hour. So it's in effect until 615. Hard to tell if they'll uh, keep this one going because it's it's almost off the coast now. There is uh, still some lightning and so it kind of broke in too as it moved uh, closer to Sebastian. Uh, so there's another uh, part of this that uh, will move through and uh, obviously having an impact in Felsmere now and then eventually Sebastian in the next few minutes. So gusty winds. We just had a report of three quarter inch hail that was uh, in Palm Bay. So that's uh, just to the north of Sebastian. And each one of these has the potential for some large hail, gusty winds. Tornado threat is pretty low, but we're still watching that. And uh, we have another storm that has is continuing to develop. It's moving away from Wellington, Lion Country Safari, the acreage, and pushing now into West Palm, Riviera Beach, all the way up in toward to Palm Beach Gardens now, and the Old Marsh. So maybe not, it's Donald Ross Boulevard and Abacoa down through PGA into 45th and Blue Heron and uh, working quickly, as I said, about 25 miles toward the east. That is a strong storm, not severe, but uh, lightning, hail, and strong winds, the biggest threat. The, the flooding issue it shouldn't be too significant simply because these storms are moving very quickly. So they'll, they'll be torrential downpours, but it shouldn't last too long. Everything starts to settle down through about 8, maybe 8.30 tonight. We'll see clearing sky and another round of showers and storms headed our way for tomorrow in the afternoon. There's 4 p.m. You know, around the lake it starts to bubble up and some of these will be strong and there is a marginal threat for severe weather on Saturday afternoon and again on Sunday and then we'll start to change things up. All right, seven, eight, maybe into nine, still some wet weather. It's certainly clearing out after that and our rain chances really drop, but it takes Monday before that happens. So if you want to get out early this weekend, Make it early rather than later. Try to make it before 1 or 2 in the afternoon on Saturday. So 60s to mid 70s with strong storms firing up and obviously that severe thunderstorm warning that continues for Indian River County until 615. 89 tomorrow. Breezy south winds and those afternoon storms again moving from the lake toward the coastline. Sunday, the stormy weather could start a little bit earlier on Sunday and there'll be some strong storms again and then a change in the weather pattern. Most of next week will be relatively dry, looking very pleasant and a, a quite a bit cooler and less humid starting on Monday through Wednesday and Thursday.